everybody. Welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Paper Crafting Saturday. Oops. There you are. I'm Leslie Watkins. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to make a really cute card using watercolors and stamps to show you how you can make a very beautiful, original, and quick note card to give to somebody. And I also want to remind you that today is the first of the month, and if you would like to get an issue of notes from Dandelion Cottage, you can go to dandeliancottage.com and subscribe, and that's the website that you see there. And you will get an email that has a listing of all the upcoming online classes this month and also for Stamp Camp. So we're going to be having a really fun event coming up at the end of the month that you won't want to miss. And there are some very nice prizes. So um, maybe I'll show you that at the end of the video. So let me show you what we've got for today. You know, I have such a bad memory. Once I get into the midst of filming these things, I think I better show you the uh, prize now, because if we wait till the end, I'll probably forget to show you. So this is the hand-painted box that I made some weeks ago, and it's a beautiful reinforced box, and it does have well, let me just show you this way. Inside are a number of gifts that the lucky recipient will win. So there's going to be a stamp set. There's going to be a package of the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. You'll get a ink pad, you'll get a set of water painters, and you'll get a clear block to stamp with. So this is the first prize. This is going to be given away at the stamp camp at the end of this month, and it all ties together with this beautiful ribbon, and the contents of the box are valued at over $50. So this is a this is a very nice prize for somebody. So um, the only way you can have a chance to win this is if you come to Stamp Camp and we're going to make a lot of great projects and there'll, there will be other prizes and great company. So I hope you'll can consider doing that and you'll find out all about it in today's issue of notes when that comes out later today. So again, the way you subscribe to notes is by going to dandeliancottagedesign.com and you'll find a tab there for notes and you just click on that and it will ask you for your information and then look for that second email there's going to be a second email that that confirms that your information is correct and then you'll be on the list and you will get it Okay, so for today, we're going to be using this stamp set, and this is called Band Together, and it features this beautiful zinnia, which is what we're going to be painting today. And I've already got that mounted up, and you can see it's an extra large stamp. It's on the, the F block, which is the, the biggest one that we have. And, um, and it's gonna be a lot of fun to paint. In addition to that, I'm also using this punch called the Lovely Labels Pick-A-Punch. And this is a really interesting punch because you have two different options of decorative ends, and each one of those two has three different widths. So there's actually six punches in one here. So this is a nice punch to have, and I'll be showing you how to make a pretty label with that. And then I have a, uh, I have a very vanilla envelope. I have a thick, very vanilla cardstock card base. 
and I have a mat out of pear pizzazz and I have a piece of the watercolor 100 or I should say the fluid 100 watercolor paper and I've just cut this in half so that it's three and a half by five and then this mat measures three and three quarters by five and a quarter. So that gives us a, a very nice little green mat, just like that. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to begin with the stamping. So I'm going to select a sentiment from here, and I think I like this beautiful inside and out. And I'm going to use my grid paper to help. Oh, this is amazing. Hold on, wrong one. Here we go. A little bit tricky to read them backwards. All right, so I'm going to use the grid paper to line up the baseline of the letters and excuse my head for just a moment so I can see what I'm doing here. All right. And today I am using the Sahara Sand ink. And I just have a scrap here of regular, very vanilla. Oh, before, before, well, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. So here we go. I'm just going to stamp that on here. And then I'm going to take my trimmer and I'm just going to cut this down to one inch because that is the largest width for that label maker. And I'm just going to get that centered on there. Let me trim a little bit off here first. It's a little bit too, too much. I'll put this at about, I'm going to go with three inches on this one. So there's our sentiment. And today I'm going to go with this more squared end. So I'm just going to slip this into the channel, push it back as well, open up the punch. There we go. And I'm pushing it in as far as it'll go, making sure it's down in there. Flip it around. Get it down into the channel. I want to make sure it's straight. Oh, I didn't get it too straight. Let me try that again. So these these smaller pieces of paper, a little you have to have a little more care in getting it in there. Let's see what that does for us. Not so good. All right, let me try that again. The best part about working with paper is that you can take as many different times as you like to get it just the way you want it.
slide that in. I'm going to snip the end. that in there straight. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to use the Sahara Sand ink to get my stamp ready. And I'm going to put this at an angle give that a good press and there's our image This is one of the new water painters, and this one has the, the middle tip, not the smallest one. And I'm just mixing up some yellow and some blue. I'm gonna begin with the stem. Let me zoom you in. I think you're probably too far. There we go. So I'm just putting a light wash And if any of you are gardeners, you know that zinnias are some of the easiest plants you can grow in your garden. And they come in wonderful colors, and they're very attractive to butterflies. So if you grow zinnias, not only will you have beautiful flowers, but you'll have beautiful butterflies coming to visit your garden. And now I'm going back in with a darker shade of green. And I'm just going to blend that. You could easily paint this with ink. Today I happen to be using watercolor, but you could do the same thing with your inks your water-based inks. Okay, so just that easy. If you're interested in learning to watercolor or improving your skills, keep an eye out for my beginning watercolor classes. Here we go. Soften that a little bit. Now the center of the zinnias are usually yellow, so I'm just going to get a little bit of yellow there to start that off. And the hardest part of this whole thing is going to be deciding what color to make these flowers. So I think that for this top one, 
going to make a kind of a peachy color. I'm just going to go over the whole thing with a light wash. And while it's still damp, I'm going to take a slightly darker tone and just drop that in here and there. I'm going to let that color move around. And while that's drying, I'm going to go to the other one. And for this one, I think we'll, I'll go with a more of a pinkish tone. And the same thing, I'm just painting that, that whole flower with a light wash. And then taking a little bit of a darker tone, I'm just going to drop that in like so. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside to dry. I'll come back to that in a minute. And while that's drying, I have my my mat here. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back. I'm trying to use up every last drop of glue before before I throw it away. get that centered. And I'm going to give that a burnish with my bone folder. do is decorate the flap of the envelope. So I'm just going to take a couple of post-it notes and I've got these two that I've already used before. I can use them over again another couple of times. So I'm just going to mask off the front of the envelope. There we go. So there's our envelope flap.
And I'm going to take my watercolor paper and add a little bit of glue to the back of that. And I'm not done painting on it yet, but I just want to, while it's still a little bit drier, I just want to get that mounted on there. Make sure that's nice and straight. Okay, now... I'm going back into my darker peachy mixture and now I'm just going to put a few more careful strokes just indicating where these petals overlap. And I'm just using the stamp as a guide. I'll do the same thing to the to the lower flower. And I'm squeezing out a little bit of water to clean my brush. Now I'm just going to blend these a, a bit. Same up here. Here we go. And I'm going to go back into those leaves and add a few touches there. And for those of you who are following along, I'm just using three colors, red, yellow, and blue. That's all you need. Okay, and then for the final 
thing, I just want to put a couple of a couple more accents in the flowers. We go. And for the top one, and I want to put some um, little texture in the center of the flower to indicate those stamens. And there you have it, folks. We have our sentiment here. So I think what I want to do is pop that up on a couple of dimensionals. And you know, you could spend a nice morning painting several of these so that you have plenty to go. So when the need arises for a special note card for somebody, you'll have that. I'm just going to put this, I think I'll put it right here. We'll just center it. This is kind of a tough call, let me see. deciding how much of the flowers I want to see and how much of the leaves. I think I'll put it right there. Okay. So there is our project for today. Just a quick and easy watercolor note card. Anybody could do it. Just takes a few minutes. And I'm sure that whoever you decide to give this to will be very happy with it. So again, if you have not already subscribed to Notes from Dandelion Cottage, please go to my website at dandeliancottagedesign.com and subscribe to Notes. And later today, you will be getting the new issue. And it will have all of the class listings coming up in August as well as the the stamp camp which is at the end of the month and and that chance to win that prize so thank you for joining me have a wonderful day stay creative and i'll see you next time